this is the producer. Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a boy Jack coming to you from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm not coming from the park today, guys. I'm just coming to you from work because I'm really exhausted and I don't think I can go home to really do this review, alright? Anyhow, I just want to bring you guys this unboxing of Mas Milano um, Tango. I should have received this fragrance about two weeks ago in which I won this one in a raffle which was hosted by Mike yeah Mike within the groups so trust me guys I've wanted this fragrance ever since I got a sample I think some weeks ago yeah some weeks ago when I purchased um Bodassia the Victorious Heroine guys I loved that fragrance guys I really really do so here I have the packaging. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing and tell you guys what I think about this one, all right? So this one, guys, Mask Milano Tango, as you can see there, says Cecile Zarakian. You have some Roman numeral up top. You also have the notes at the back. As a matter of fact, guys, let me quickly pull off this. I don't want to reveal the product as yet, so let me just get this off. Good. Anyhow, here you have the notes at the back. Think, um, wow, it smells fantastic, guys. However, the packaging is a little beat up, I guess, because um, due to how long it was in transit. Oh, well, that's the least, but it smells fantastic already, guys. I hope it's not damaged or anything. So here you have um, interpreted by Cecile Zarokian, head notes. It says bergamot, bergamot, black pepper, cardamom. In the heart notes, it says um, sambac, jasmine, abs, damas, damasina, rose oil, cumin, patchouli. I love patchouli, guys. In the base, it says vanilla bean, melitat, amber accord, leather accord, benzoin, and musk, guys. All right. So let me just quickly reveal the product, guys. Oh, and this comes in a 35 ml, also a 100 ml as well. Wow, shoot, guys. Yep, it definitely spilled, guys. <sighs> it did. Yep. This was supposed to be brand new. However, look, yep, it definitely spilled. I'm a little disappointed at that. However, I'm pleased that the product is here, and I did not pay much to enter the raffle, so... Oh well, it smells fantastic guys. I'm really, really disappointed. Anyhow, here you have Mas Milano. You also have the perfumer's name engraved at the top. You have MM inside, as you guys can see. And it is just phenomenal guys. 35 ml bottle. Oh wow, now I see what the problem was. Shoot. It's damaged at the top guys. This sucks. It really, really sucks. Anyhow, as I was saying, guys, let me get back to my review. So, guys, there you have it a while ago. I'm definitely not dancing to the beat right now. I'm not tongueing or anything because I'm really disappointed at the fact that it was damaged and all. <sighs> hmm. Overall, guys, it's a beautiful scent. I get mostly the vanilla, the benzoin, the amber. Oh, and I also, I do get the musk as well, guys. The patchouli, I don't really pick up the patchouli not in it that much. However, this one and the spicy, the black pepper, guys. This is a beast. I sprayed it on a test strip, I think, nine days ago. It stained the test strip, it stained the test strip guys. However, the scent is still lingering. As a matter of fact, it really, really does smell really good after nine days. All right. So there you have it. It was just going to be a quick one. I'm your boy Jack coming to you from Kingston, Jamaica, guys. Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe to my channel. Also, leave some recommendations as well, guys. Peace. I'm out.